believe it. When kings of the land, kings of the land possessors of life, life will run it about. So what's what? So what's it gonna do? Stop on the devil's head. Come on, somebody crush his head. What's it gonna do? Stop on the Praises unto God. Welcome to Heavenly Messages. I'm your narrator, Prophetess Clark. I'm so happy that you could be with us today. We have some exciting new guests to come on. Praises unto God. Well, they've been here before, but they're always new when they come on the program to me. I'm so grateful that they saw fit to come and be with us on today. We have some exciting, exciting news for you today. We're going to be talking about burdens. Have you ever been burdened? Well, if you're living at one time or another, you have been burdened. Praise the Son to God. But before we get into our program today, I'm going to ask each and every one of you to call me. My telephone number is 424-204-3242. Now, again, that number is 424-204-3229. Call me 24-7, if you will. Okay, praise is unto God. Let's get into the scripture today. No, I think I'll pray first. You know, it's always good to pray before you enter into anything. That gives you acknowledgement to God, okay? Amen. Amen. Praise is unto God. Dear Heavenly Father, as once again your humble servant, come bow down unto you, Lord, inviting your presence into this program, my Heavenly Father. Heal the sick, hallelujah, in the hospitals, in the convalescent homes. Yes, hallelujah, those that are sick at home. Hallelujah. Praise is under God. And Lord, heal the prisoners, those that are locked behind prison wall and their freedom has been taken from them. Lord, we pray for them that you'd be the best company keeper they could ever have. Hallelujah. Praise is the God. Lord, there's some boy, child, or man walking the street, mm. have no place to call home. Lord, we ask you, you're a friend to the homeless, I know, Lord. Lord, let them be able to have homes to dwell in yes. and food to eat on their <coughs> tables, Lord. And with those of you, uh, Lord, that you have provided for us, we want to thank you, Lord, yes, Lord, that we're not in that condition. And Lord, we pray that we'll be merciful to those who are less fortunate than we are. Yes, Lord. These and other blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ooh, I feel so good when I pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saints, you ought to try it sometime. Amen. To be able to pray. Hallelujah. I love you. Now, let's get our Bibles, you Bible scholars. Praise is under God. Turn to St. Matthew's, the 11th chapter, verses 28 to 30. Amen. Now again, that's Matthew's, the 11th chapter, verses 28 to 30. And it reads thus. Come unto me, all ye that labor, and a heavy Latin, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. Yes. For my yoke is easy mm. and my burden is light. Yes, we're going to be talking about burdens. Many of us today have so many burdens we don't even know what we're doing. Hallelujah. We're going to find out what you do when you get too many burdens. What Christ says about burdens. Show as you're living, if your heart is beating, 
You're going to have some burdens. We're going to give you a formula that you can use. But first, let's introduce you to my our, our guest, Elder Edwards. How are you doing? Oh, God, I'm blessed and highly favored. Just thanking God. Praise God. I'm so glad you're on our program today. Yes, ma'am. Just Praise God. God. Praise God. Amen. Elder, Elder uh, Todd. And how are you? Fine and good. I'm glad to see you here. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be back. Praise I'm glad is you under to come God. Back. Did you want me to give your number out on your card for sure, a prayer line? Sure. I know him that he can pray real good. Praise God. Call Minister Todd at 323 945 0187. Again, that number is 323 945. 0187. And just ask for Elder Mi Michael Todd Sr. And he'll be glad to pray for you 24 7. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Thank you. Now, Minister Todd, I'm going to pick on you first today. Praise God. Praise God. Praises under God. I always get uh, elder, but I'm going to pick on you now. <laughs> Praises under God. What do you think about burdens? Well, this burden we carrying and it's just weighing us down. We have to give it literally yes. to God. He's he's standing with his arms open saying, Hallelujah. Come unto me. Come. But we sometimes act like we can't even see. If he's telling you to come, then come on. So if we open up our eyes, our spiritual ears, then we will come right to God. And get the rest that he's talking about. Amen? Amen. What do you say about burdens? Tell us something about burdens. It could be your burdens or somebody else's. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, amen. Praise God. Praise God. He rejuvenates me daily. Amen. amen. But you know, it was a burden. Addiction can be a burden. You can yes. be addicted yes. to uh, sickness. Yes. You can be addicted to sex. You can be a addicted mm -hmm. to alcohol. Amen. Yes. And that's a burden. Amen. I was thinking when the Lord said, come unto me, he did his laid and heavy burden. I give you rest. And I would and take my yoke because my yoke is easy. Yes. So God was saying he'll take my burden. He'll, he'll take my, he'll take my worry. Amen. Amen. Uh, we, we worry about stuff, Ooh, you know, and we don't. And then another thing we do, we, 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 we give it to God, but then we go back uh -oh. and pick it up. Lord, Lord, no. When God say yoke, a yoke is when a, a yoke, when God, he's going to yoke up with you. Like back in the old days, they would put an ox in a yoke, and he would pull, and he would do, you know, you would uh, plant seeds. You would tread. Yes. And, you know, it's a yoke around your neck. But what the Lord said, he's going to yoke up with us. So if Jesus is there, it shouldn't be no stress. Amen. Amen. Then he said, I'll give you rest. Amen. I remember where uh, I couldn't even sleep at night. I would Lord, be up Lord. three or four nights at a time. Until I called upon Jesus, and Jesus would give you instructions. He even used doctors. Now, God used doctors because Luke was a doctor. Yes. So all I'm trying to say is if you just yoke up with the Lord, you'll get rest, you'll get healed, and you wouldn't be stressed out every day. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God. Now, a lot of people, they don't know what yoke is. Come on. See. Tell us about yoke. Now, there's two types of yoke. Amen. There's the egg yoke. <laughs> And there's a yoke you put around an ox. Come on now. Hallelujah. And then, you know, Jesus got a yoke. Now, when he talks about in this scripture about the yoke, he says to take Jesus, or it means to submit your life right. to God. Amen. See, when you have submitted your life to God, he got a yoke around you. You can't do what you want to do. Well, Amen. well, you got to do what he wants you to now. do. Amen. Hallelujah. Many of us, we, we so burdened down and, and things of that sort. We need the Lord to lead us, to guide us out of the mess that we have gotten our lives in. Amen. Praises on all them bad habits we have accumulated. Lord, Lord, Lord. Outside of the Bible. Come Help on now. Us, Jesus. Help us. And that yoke, when you submit your life to mm. Christ, you're not going to be able to do what you used to do. Amen. 
what you want to do. Come on now. When you truly got the Holy Ghost, you cannot do some of the things you do. And people, you don't have to tell people you got the Holy Ghost. Come on now. They'll see it in your life. That's good. That's Usually good. when somebody got the Holy Ghost, Come on now. you don't have to say what's wrong with you. You know it's the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Like some saints today. My, my. They talk all in tongue in church, Uh oh. talking to God. <laughs> and as you're going in church, they won't even say good morning. And you're both going into church, Lord talking Jesus. to God all <laughs> week <laughs> in <laughs> tongues. <In tongues. laughs> but can't say good morning, sister. Glad to see you at mm. church. We didn't got like the world. Lord Come Jesus. On Praise the Son of God. And if something is wrong with your Holy Ghost, if you can talk to God and can't talk to your fellow man, hallelujah, uh, praise us unto God here. And he, he says in this scripture, he says to learn mm, of me. Yes, yes. What, 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 yes. what does that mean? You know, because I had a lot of trouble with this scripture at one time. To learn of him is to acknowledge his lordship in your life. Amen. Amen. That's powerful. Hallelujah. You know, but if he's lord of your life, you're going to do it his way and not our way. Amen. See, there's two ways you can do it. Three, really. You can do it God's way. You can do it your way. And you can do it Satan's way. Amen. But. When you learn of the Lord Jesus Christ, you know his ways. Amen. You know his habits. See, dear saints, pray to God, to Jesus Christ. Say in the name of Jesus Christ, yes. Lord, I want to understand God's heart. Who knows God's heart more than Jesus Christ? Amen. Amen. Because you belong to him. And if you're going to be like Jesus Christ, you're going to have to learn what the Father is and who he is. If you're going to be like Christ. Come on. Praise the Son of God. Dear hearts, okay, um, Elder, Elder uh, Todd? Yes. Elaborate on that. You made a great point when you talked about Come unto me and learn of me. You see, that's what it's all about. It's not about us. Yes. It's about God. The Bible says in Psalms, it says, It is he who created us, not we ourselves. ourselves. We're the sheep of his pasture. Yes. And we must bless his holy name. Yes. So if God is my creator, I need to seek him. Get to know him. Stay in his presence. Yes. Meditate. Yes. Let him lead. Every time I drive, I have a wreck. Lord, you lead. Praise you, God. God. Lord, yeah. help me to be more like you. Praise God. That's how you submit to the Lord. That's how you let go of the steering wheel and let him drive. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. I'm just, I'm just going to jump on his wave right there. <laughs> so many words lean not to my own understanding. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. But in all my ways, yes. God is God. Yes. So what I do, I rise early in the morning and seek his face. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I lay down this flesh and I, and I let God. Lead me and guide me into each and every situation. That's That's Amen. I done got so submitted unto the Lord that even I even asked the Lord, what should I wear That's this, this, this Sabbath day? Oh, Amen. oh God, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? You got to be able to hear the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory. He said, my sheep know my voice yes. and the stranger will not follow. Come on. Yes. And sometimes you, you need God in traffic. Amen. Yes, you do. Uh, you, amen. Because see, we, we so much in a hurry. Mm. We're in a hurry. Oh, Jesus. And we be rushing and going up and down these highways. Come on now. Stuff. And run right into a wreck. But when God have a shield of protection around you, and when there's a host of angels really around you, and you really love the Lord. I'm receiving and he, this. How, when he's really loving, mm. he guides you. He tells you to go receiving. right. He tells you what highway mm. to take. He t as a matter of fact, he wakes you up in the morning, mm. and he directs your path. Come. Hallelujah. So you'll make it home safe that night. Yes, That's how good Lord. our God is. Hallelujah. He oh, abundantly, he will abundantly bless you in each, each and every way. I received yes. that. Oh, yes, he will. Yes. I received Hallelujah. That. Yes. And I, I'll let your, uh, uh, let your enemies arrive, but see, they'll be scattered. See, God yes. has an escape for us. Hallelujah. And the devil has no power over a child of God. Amen. Over the blood and the anointed, over his word. That's Praise why I came to Jesus. Hallelujah. Wounded. 
Hallelujah. Come praise, on, pray, 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 praise the Son of God. I don't want to preach. Pray. In this patch, passage of verse scripture, it says, Come unto me, yeah. all ye that are laden and heavy yeah. burden, Come on. and I'll give you rest. rest. You know, you have to be insane. Not to come to Jesus Amen. Christ. Come Amen. Because he died that we could have it easier. Amen. Why do we carry these burdens around with us? I've often asked ourselves, why do we carry them around? Now, Jesus cried, died on the cross. Yes. And shed his precious blood so we could have an easier life. Yes. Why not put these burdens on him? He already prayed for every burden we had. Praise is under God. We'll go to our relatives. We'll go to our friends. We'll go to other people. Don't you know that Jesus Christ doesn't want you to suffer like he suffered on the cross? Come on now. That's the reason he died and shed his blood. So we wouldn't have to go through it. Come on, yeah, It's come on. rough. Lord, Lord, Lord. Hallelujah. He shed his blood. Mm. Yes, so did. them demons can't hurt you. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. He said, all I ask is you come to me. Don't go to nobody Lord, else. Amen. Come to me. Yes. And I'm going to take care of every trouble and problem and situation in your life that you cannot handle. Amen. All right. Amen. Well, who wouldn't serve a good God like Amen. that? Amen. Praise it unto God. Praise God. El Elder Todd, tell me something about coming to the Lord Jesus with your burdens. Come on. You know, the thing that we have as as Flesh will make you not want to admit, I need help. Amen. Yes. Amen. Come on now. We need help. Hallelujah. We, a lot of us need more than what we're even even saying to God. Come on. But bro. God knows your heart. <laughs> he know it. He, he can see yes, Lord. what we can't see. He know what we don't know. But we have, the Bible says, if I just confess my sins, mm -hmm. that he's faithful and just. To forgive me and Amen. cleanse me as all unrighteousness. He said, come unto me. He's telling you, just come. There's no earthly sin that heaven can give. Lord come on. Hallelujah. Now. He's Amen. telling you, just come Yes, on. Lord. I know Jesus. you're dirty. I yes. know you messed up. Uh, I know you. Uh, uh, oh, come yes, on. Lord. So I can help you. Yes. So you got to come. Oh, I know Lord. sometimes we got our pride. Lord, uh, no. You're going to die in your sins if you don't come to Hallelujah. God. Yes. Yes. Elder. Amen. I, I just uh like like King David. Like King David was a rascal. And that's the yeah, thing yeah. about it. I often say that you don't really have too many friends in the world, but if you can get one friend, maybe your yes. wife or somebody really yes. close, yeah. that's a person you probably could confide in. But if not, go to the Lord. Mm. I mean, get on your face and tell him everything. Amen. He sees it anyway. He knows our thoughts are far off. Amen. So that's the praying about it. We won't admit that we have a problem. Some people might have uh, 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 bipolar or something. Um, that's a demon to me. That's just the name of a demon, yes, bipolar. Yes. But the thing about it, if you don't never admit to the problem, you're never going to get any help. Amen. Wretched man, that it, 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 Paul said that there's no good thing in our flesh. Come on, yes. Amen. Yes, so we have to build up the spirit, man. We have to go to God. We have to come to Jesus as you are. Hallelujah. Yes. I like to say naked and not ashamed. Glory yes, to God. Give him Lord. everything. Amen. And once you give it to God, I'm telling you, tears of joy are flowing. Ooh, in. He'll come in there and he will heal you. See, sometimes we got to get the spirit man healed. Amen. Amen. And then everything else, the flesh to come right along with it. Amen. Praise oh, God. bless his name. Hallelujah. Oh, praise is under God. God. Amen. We have burdens. And I'm going to take a little time here and tell you about some of the burdens I personally have experienced. Mm, praise God. Now, we are saints and we're high saints. Because we love the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. But sometimes we can get spiritually burnt out. Wow. That's and good. that can be a burden to you. Mm -hmm. To be spiritually burned out. 
The reason why we're spiritually burned out because we haven't cast all our cares on him for he cares for you. Amen. That's how come we can run and not be weary. Come we on. can walk Amen. and we can't faint. Come on now. Hallelujah. I see so many ministers today that have quit the, the ministry because they're spiritually burnt out. Hallelujah. They talk about they're going to retire. Once God calls you, Come you on. cannot retire. Amen. Come Amen. On now. When you retire, you're laying in somebody's mortuary. Come on now. Hallelujah. Because when God calls you, you can't quit until your mission is done. Amen. I'm serving notice on all you priests and ministers Ooh. of the gospel. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Preach once, once God called you, Look at you, you can't quit. Hard when he truly called you. Amen. Many are called, but few are chosen. Come on, preach. Hallelujah. Praises unto God. And you can't get burnt out. Because every time you got a problem, you're so close to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, that you just put that burden off on him. Come on. And you know better not to Look pick it back up. Come on. Because you can't handle it. Can't Hallelujah. It's a burden to be sick. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. On, Paul Lord. said, There's a thorn <laughs> in my side. Come on now. He said, But God said, My grace is sufficient for you. Amen. Praise the Son of God. Hallelujah. And some of us just run down, <laughs> bar other people's burdens. Mm -hmm. It's not even our burden, mm -hmm. but it belongs to somebody mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. well, and we take it to God in, in, in prayer. Praise the Son of God. And being discouraged is a burden. Yes. Amen. Praise the Son of God. You know, when you do the best that you can and you be discouraged and you tell people of your dreams and your, your hopes and everything, and you just burden down. Come on now. They tell you all negative things that cannot happen, what they know. Come but they're not the God that died on the cross Come for on, you. Come on, That's a good one. Praise the Son Amen. of God. And there's some burdened down because they don't have no money. Some of them burn down because they have no life. And they mm. go around stirring up trouble in God's house. Come on. Because they don't have a life at home. Amen. Praise the Son of God. And some of them are disappointed. Have you ever been disappointed? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. When you put all your eggs in one basket and you see them crushed before your eyes, that's a great disappointment. Amen. Hallelujah. And some have deadly enemies. That could be a burden. Everywhere you go, you got a deadly enemy. Don't want to see your rise, but want to see you fall down. Hallelujah. Mm. Some, some of them said, I call it a blessing, but some of them said they burdened because they don't have a husband or they don't have a wife. Well. Hallelujah. Don't have no friends. Come on now. <laughs> Hallelujah. They say they burn down, but I call it a blessing. Amen. Praises <laughs> unto God. Praises unto God. And some are burdened down that don't have no mind. Mm -hmm. Them crazy folks that are walking around us. You got to be careful who you hang around. Because some of us don't have no mind. Hallelujah. God. But God said, he said, take it, my yoke, upon you and learn of me. Amen. Give all these things to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praises be to God. And dear hearts, I'm telling you today, take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. You know, I had a hard time leaving them there because the <laughs> devil will come back to you and remind you of the burden you had. Amen. And Jesus then took the burden on off and working on it. Come on now. And I was still hanging on there, dear hearts. But I love you today. And I'm so glad that you are listening to this program. Praise Elder Edwards, give me a word. Give me a short little prayer about burdens. Father, thank you, Lord, for making peace in my house with my children, peace with me, oh God, peace with my wife, and peace at my church. We thank you for your anointing 
And we thank you for the increase. In Jesus' name I pray on today, even in your household. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I need me another prayer, Elder Todd. Well, you know, God is good. He's great. Let's just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father, for who you are. You're the chief cornerstone. Hallelujah. You're the apostle and Hallelujah. You're the author and finisher of Thank you, Jesus. And in him we live, move, and have our being. Yes. Jesus said, in this life, yes. you shall have tribulation. But I have already overcome the world. Yes. Yes, so Lord. Lord. So, Lord, help us to hold on to your word. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, Lord. Thank God. Yes, Lord. Amen and amen. 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 All that prayer, you should have no burdens at this time. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise is under God. That is the solution Ooh. to your problems of yes. burden. Yes. Give all your cares and problems to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Now, when you leave them to Jesus Christ, the devil goes say, don't you remember you were burdened down? Mm hmm and you tell that devil, I cast all my cares upon him, for he careth for me. Amen. You talk back to him and say, oh, no, Mr. Devil, no deal. And he'll flee from you. Amen. He said, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Now, dear hearts, if you burden down, call me right now. My number is 424-204. 3229-424-204-3229. Well, into this time, next time, may God forever keep you the apple of his eye. Hey, I love you. Call me now. Praise God. Ooh, man. Work it out for you. Jesus can work it out, work it out for you. Come on, one. Jesus can work it out, work it out for you. Do you hear what I say? Mm -hmm. Jesus can work it out, work it out for you.